The ski run has an angle of elevation of 20.2 degrees. Okay, well, we're going to draw a right triangle to visualize or represent a ski run on the side of a mountain. Would that look like this? Or like this? The bottom one. Okay, the ski run on the side of your mountain. Here's your mountain. When you get to the top of the mountain, you go down, correct? All right, which this whole thing is your mountain, so this would be the height of your mountain. All right, now let's look at what we're given. It says the angle of elevation is 20.2 degrees. So is that this, this, or this? Angle of elevation is from the ground looking up. There is a vertical drop of 2,900 feet. What does that mean? If you were standing at the top of the ski run and fell off the side of the mountain, you would fall 2,900 feet. So you have just been given this. And what we are looking for is what is the physical distance that you will actually ski when you go down this ski run. So are we trying to find the base of this triangle or the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse. Where do you ski? Do you ski through the center of the mountain? Or do you ski on the edge of the mountain? Here, from the top going down, right? Okay, so what we are looking for is the hypotenuse. Now it's time to determine which function to use. I want you to solve this whole thing yourself. I want you to choose your function, set it up, and calculate it. You should have gotten 8,399 feet. Now, describing a distance of that magnitude in feet is sort of like saying, how tall is Angelo? And you give it to me in centimeters. I can't wrap my, my mind around it. Who remembers how to convert feet to miles? 5,280. There are 5,280 feet in one mile. So let's just make an estimate. About how many miles is that? One and a half, maybe a little bit more than one and a half. Okay? It's approximately one and a half miles. Now, well if there are 5,280 feet, oh how did I get this? Okay, well my function is, what function did you use? Wrong. This is your hypotenuse. Yes, the hypotenuse is adjacent to the angle. But when we say adjacent, we're referring to the leg. Okay? This is your hypotenuse. You should have had sine of 20.2 is equal to 2,900 over x. And then in your calculator, you would have punched 2,900 divided by sine of 20.2. Okay, now suppose I said this. A pilot is trying to land his airplane. Okay? From his plane, 
he spots the control tower ahead of him at a forty the uh, forty degree angle of depression. See if you can draw that. At his plane, from his plane, he's flying. He spots the control tower at a forty degree angle of depression. Yeah, did I say something different the first time? Oh, okay. 40. Use 40. Sorry. Is the pilot in the air or on the ground? Yeah. Pilot's here. Control tower is in the air or on the ground? Um, on the ground somewhere. All right, so... Okay, so from the pilot, here's his horizon. If I gave you a 40 degree angle of depression, that means I've identified one of the two angles in that right triangle. Which one is it? Is it the top one or the bottom one? The bottom one. Because the angle of depression is from looking straight out down, which means the guys in the control tower looking up to the pilot, have that same angle. All right, so if, if you went stand at the end of the parking lot down there and I looked out my window and waved to you, my angle of depression looking down to you is the same as your angle of elevation looking up to me. I said, which one of the two angles in the right triangle have we been given? The angle of depression is outside of the right triangle. Is he looking down? Yeah, he's looking down. He's here looking down at a 40 degree angle of depression. So why would that one be outside? Because we just went through that earlier with the geometry students about the fact that these two lines were parallel, which means that these two angles are equal to each other. Okay? Now, I need to give you something else. If the pilot is currently at an altitude of 3,000 feet, he is at an altitude of 3,000 feet. Feet. What is 3,000? What is the distance What is the physical distance from the airplane to the control tower? What is the physical distance from the airplane to the control tower? Are you looking for the base or the hypotenuse? What is the distance from the airplane, which I cannot draw an airplane, so I'm about to destroy this. How do you draw an airplane? That's more like a blimp, but anyway. It's a stealth bomber. Okay. To the control tower. You're looking for the hypotenuse. All right? Now, if I had said, what is the ground distance from the airplane to the control tower, then I'm saying from underneath the airplane, running across the ground to the control tower. Okay? The physical distance from the plane to the control tower is from the actual plane to the actual control tower, which would be your hypotenuse. Now, which function are you going to have to use? You're going to have to use sine function because in reference to this angle, we have our opposite leg and we're looking for our hypotenuse. Okay? So the sine of 40 